Stampers, Diane Dimish here with DeeDeeStamps.com and today I'm going to show you how to do this card. It's kind of a new fold that people are doing a lot of lately and I like the looks of it. It is, it looks, it makes your card look really fancy, but it actually is very flat and will, and will, you know, slide right into an envelope and be mailed just like that. And so I think we call this the drapery fold. So I'm going to get started with that. To begin with, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to use birthday blooms today. And I am using the paper... I am using the paper Birthday Bouquet. This paper comes with lots of different prints on both sides. There's fabulous colors. Um, for this particular card, I am using this piece here. I'm going to bring in my scoring tool because I'm going to use that. But this is one of the pieces that's in there. And it's cut four by 11 and a half. And so for each 12 by 12 sheet, you could get three draperies out of it and so oh, there we go okay so here's my stylus and when you're sty when you're scoring um, designer series paper you want to make sure you don't press too hard because you don't want to tear your paper so you're going to start at three score at three four six seven nine and ten and a quick easy way how I remember that is it's three six nine and then another inch for the next so three six nine Four, seven, ten, and I will have all the measurements and everything up on my website. You can just click the link above there with the supplies and everything. Once you've done that, you've got this score line here that is three inches in. I don't know if you guys can see it, so I'll fold it so you can see. And I just take a regular pair of scissors, and you're going to cut a diagonal. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you're going to cut it so that you leave about a one-inch mark there. So I just eyeball it. And cut that right to there. And once I've done that, then I'm going to fold on my score lines. And you'll see how this starts to come together as a drapery. Just like that. I mean, it's really that simple, but it just looks so great. And then I'm coming in with a piece of mint macaron cardstock. This one is actually five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, folded in half. And one of the things I've done with my drapery is on this little piece here, I'm just adding just a little bit of adhesive to hold that down. Like that. And like that. And then I'm going to flip it over and add adhesive to the back. And this all is going to get added right onto my card base. Then you'll see how it fits perfectly with um, that regular card base that matches up with those measurements. Once I've done that, I'm going to come in. I love this glitter ribbon that we have in the um, Occasions Mini Catalogs Pool Party. And I'm going to tie this one in a knot. And I, I know I've showed you this before, but I'm going to show you one more time. So there's, um, to do a knot, you need three lengths of your card. If you're going to do a bow, do four lengths. And then you make sure you have enough to go all the way around. This is definitely going to give us enough um, to tie a knot in. So, maybe, there we go. <laughs> and when I'm tying my knot, I usually leave one side, uh, I hold it down and pull the other side, and then the knot doesn't twist. And it stays, it looks good and stays flat. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and trim up. And you'll see I didn't have to cut very much off of that with the, with the three lengths for the knot. So there's my card base. Um, to do the rest, I actually took an image from that stamp set, that big rose, and I'm going to color it. And I am using um, actually Soft Subtles colors, and then a couple of our new of our ink colors, the Mint Macaron and the um, Watermelon Wonder. So for the rose, I'm going to use the big brush end of the marker, and I'm actually just going to color in. And I'm not going to make this perfect. I'm just going to put some color in there. And once I have that called the base color down, I'm just going to come in with some of this Watermelon Wonder and just add a few highlights. And actually the Stampin' Up! stamps have, have places where there's highlights, so all these little lines, this, you can just make them, put a little highlight in them. You can do that into the middle. 
And once I've done that, then I'm going to come back with my um, Blushing Bride marker, and I'm just going to actually put in a little bit more. And I'm not, like I said, it's not perfect. I'm just doing a little bit of shading. And it kind of blends that marker in a little bit, adds a little color to it, adds a little texture. Um, it isn't going to blend great because it's Whisper White. I don't want it to look like watercolor. I wanted it to look, you know, like I hand colored it. And I'm just going to blend that in. Just adding another layer of color to my petals. I'm going to do that for the whole image and then I'll be back to show you my last final touch on that piece. Okay, well, sorry about that. That was my daughter. <laughs> She's traveling today and I wanted to make sure I didn't miss her call. So I'm just going to finish up coloring in this flower. And then bring in that Wink Estella again and add a little gold to the inside of that flower. And this actually is just going to get put on the inside of my card to make it almost as nice as the outside of my card. So there you have it. That's the drapery fold. It works with any of your designer series papers that's two-sided. Um, I just It's just really a fun technique and like I said the card will fold flat enough that it will be mailed um, but it sure is pretty. Thanks, and if you haven't already done so, you may want to visit my website where I have all the supplies I used for this project and the measurements, and also sign up for my newsletter where you'll get tips, tricks, and techniques each week. Thanks, and have a great day.